Hey folks, welcome back. So this week we are continuing on with the bridge rebuild project. And last week we kind of finished off with ripping off some of the boards and getting the I-beams exposed underneath there. And then this week we are starting off with cleaning up those I-beams a little bit and getting them ready to put some new paint on there to help seal those off, help kind of keep some rust from starting up, at least not too quickly anyways. Now it's gonna take a little bit of time for that to cure in between when we put on the primer and then the paint. So we're gonna have a little bit of time in between there when we can work on some other projects around here at the mill house. Um, but then hopefully after that, we can start getting some deck boards put back on to the one third of the bridge that we have uh, disassembled at the moment. So I'm going to interrupt my own video here and add a little bit of information that I forgot to add when I was recording this stuff last week. And that is the, the one bolt that I think I said was upside down and that's why I wasn't able to get that last arch piece out. Now actually I think what happened is that when they were possibly doing a little bit of reassembly or something with the bridge when they added those I-beams underneath there, I think that that one nut was really, really, really close to the top of the bolt when they put it on. And maybe they were concerned about it loosening up a little bit and vibrating off the top or something like that. So it appears that what they did is maybe they added a little bit of a weld on the top of that, or maybe they just smashed it over with a hammer to get that bolt to kind of round over. Either way, it made it look as if that was like a bolt head on there. But when I looked a little closer, I noticed that there were some threads underneath that head there. So obviously something had been able to get screwed onto there. So I think that's what they did. What I was able to do is just take a grinder and kind of work the top of that thing off from there. And eventually I got it down low enough that I was able to twist that nut off from there and then just take it off just like I had with any of the other ones. Alright, so today is sort of a rainy, cloudy day out here, and I think you can kind of see what it looks like. So, it is not good weather to be out there working on the bridge. So what we're going to do today is, the first thing I'm going to work on is these window frames over here. The second one that we made, I didn't get around to kind of getting that final fit on the uh, the joints in the corners there. So I want to work on that, get that one fitting together just right, and then uh, both frames will then be ready to cut the groove into it so that the window panes will set down into those.
All right, well we got this second frame over here done and the joints feel pretty good. Uh, I also discovered that I had a uh, tool here that made this really, really easy, or at least easier than it was before, and that is this thing right here. It's a plane, but it's a little bit different than normal in that the blade goes all the way into the corner. For some of these where like on, I guess it's like the tenon, uh, I wanted to take it back a little bit further. That thing worked really, really nice because I could just shave off a little bit off from each side, fit it back in there, see if it fit. That, that, that worked really well. And it's something I've had kicking around here for a while. I'm not sure where it came from, but it, it worked quite nicely. So I think what we'll work on next is, I think you may recall that like a couple weeks ago, I was messing around with trying to weld a nut to a piece of angle iron because we may be using something like that on the bridge for putting some bolts down through. Uh, instead of having the nut loose on the bottom, welding it straight to the I-beams. And I wanted to kind of experiment around with that a little bit before I actually am doing it on there. I had, yeah, well, I'm not even sure I could call it marginal success, uh, but <laughs> I want to try it again this time with the, uh, the wire feed welder instead of the stick welder. I think it might work a little bit better using that. So I'm going to take that stuff down to ground level and we're going to experiment around with that a little bit. start breaking on that side. I didn't quite get it as good as I should have. All right, well, I think I'm sort of getting the hang of it. I wasn't able to break this one off when I hit the bolt with the hammer, so uh, we got a halfway decent weld on that one. I've been fiddling around with the, I think it's the amps, basically how much power is going into it, and I think I kind of got that figured out to where I want it and what works well for doing this. So I may do another couple test runs on it just to really make sure I know what I'm doing before we start doing it on the bridge. but. I think it's gonna work. So today we are back to working on the bridge again and what we're gonna do 
is my dad already did a little bit of grinding, sanding, whatever on the tops of these I-beams. And I'm gonna do some work on the sides of them because some of them are still pretty decent along the sides. They've still got good paint on them. Some of them in some spots, it's not so great and the paint's starting to flake off. So I'm gonna work on those few little rusty spots and try and get those cleaned up so that they're gonna be ready to get painted hopefully a little bit later this week. Well, these cleaned up pretty well. Uh, the rest of the paint appears to be pretty good. I kind of hit it in a few spots with the disc just to see uh, what it would do, and it seems to be pretty solid. So I think all that we'll need to do, at least on these inner beams, is just uh, hit it with paint over the spots that I uh, ground down a little bit where it was already flaking off and there was some rust. Cover that up with some paint and primer and I think we'll be good to go. Then on those outside beams, we'll just give those a nice solid coat all the way along through there to make it look all pretty. And I think we should be good to go. So today on the bridge build, we are gonna be doing a little bit more grinding on a few spots where it's had a little bit heavier rust just to clean that up a little bit more. And then also what we're gonna be doing is where they had bolts before, I think they used like a, a quarter inch or maybe five sixteenths, something like that. We're gonna up our bolt size to half an inch instead because some of those old ones were just about rusted through. So we're gonna up it a bit just to give it more of a fighting chance so that hopefully it'll last for you know maybe another hundred years. But to do that, of course, we have to drill those holes out to a bigger diameter to take it out to that half inch hole. Now also, for the outside beams, what we're gonna do is I'm going to be welding a nut onto the bottom of the flange so that way down the road as these boards dry a little bit we lose some moisture out of these deck boards that we've cut they're going to shrink a little bit and of course if you didn't have the nut welded onto the bottom to tighten up the bolt you'd have to somehow get outside hold on to the nut and then have someone on the inside to tighten it down which that would be kind of a pain so I'm welding the nut onto the bottom of the flange and then all you have to do is you can just turn the bolt on top where you can get to it from inside the bridge and you don't have to mess around with trying to hold on to it from the outside.
All right, well, as you just saw, we got some primer on the I-beams here today. Uh, we had to go through first and just do a last little clean up, get that little bit of surface rust off from them that had developed over the last day or two. So we cleaned all those up, got that done, and then we came right back through with some primer and covered up the spots that we ground clean. Now, of course, you probably noticed that we are not doing the entire I-beams because that's just gonna be way too much work for the equipment and stuff that we have available. To do that we would really need like just to sandblast it and for that we would need a sandblaster which I don't have and I also don't have an air compressor that's big enough to do something that would be big enough to do that project so we, we just decided not to go that route so we just cleaned up the spots where there was rust coming through. The areas where the paint's still good we're just leaving that be and hopefully that'll stay good for a very long time to come. So we just got some primer on there for today on those spots and then that can set here for the rest of the weekend and next week we can pick back up and put on a coat of paint on top of that. Also next week uh, hopefully we should be putting some boards back on there because if we get the paint done like first thing in the week then that takes like a day or two to fully set up. So we should be able to put some boards on later in the week, I think. So get that part done, and then of course we can move on to the middle third there and start ripping boards off there and just sort of wash, rinse, repeat of what we've done here in the first section. Now I have not forgotten about the windows for the mill house. I'm really hoping to be doing some work on that next week. Hopefully get the grooves cut into the window frames, the new frames that we just built. Uh, so that way the, uh, the glass can set down into there. And once we do that, get those done, then we can finally assemble them all the way, do the final assembly on that, put nails in it, really hold it together. And then we'll have to sand them up, really get them finished up, and then, uh, then they should be ready to put paint on, I think. And I've still got to pick up the paint for that, but you know, we've got our color and everything, so that shouldn't be too hard to get that ready to go. And that sounds like a pretty full week next week. Uh, we'll see see what reality is, but hopefully we'll get most of that stuff done. So this is going to be it for this week's video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next time.